Hello, St. John's friends. A little show and tell, I guess you would say today. You can't help but notice this, right? Well, I'm wearing this bone growth stimulator because I had spinal fusion surgery a couple of months ago now. But part of the protocol, the routine in recovering from that uh, intensive lower back surgery is this bone growth stimulator. It's an evidence-based device, um, which perhaps you knew this, maybe not, that bones apparently create a mild electrical field when they're healing or growing. And so a bone growth stimulator sends more energy to the healing bone surface. I don't know if this is through pulsed electromagnetic or else ultrasound waves, one or the other. And some of you might be familiar with this if you've gone through this, but it helps the bone grow more quickly. And so the healing takes place more quickly to stabilize and to give strength to my body, to the infrastructure. And so now it's just distracting. So I'm going to actually take it off for the rest of this little message here. But, you know, think about that, you know, the wonders of uh, modern medical technology, thank God, thank the great physician for those things. But have you ever thought about the means that God provides to generate spiritual strengthening, spiritual growth stimulation? And it is, of course, prayer. And we think and we meditate today on Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, his friends, the disciples that he brought with him, couldn't even stay awake with him. But God was there. God the Father was there for him and with him, and he prayed in his agony, Lord, if you could take this cup of suffering that I'm about to endure away, please do, but may your will be done. We see that as the key foundational basis for his prayer to God the Father that day. We also see at that time when the disciples said, Lord, teach us to pray the way John's disciples taught them to pray, or the way John taught his disciples to pray, and he taught them the Lord's Prayer. And again, one key phrase in there, which kind of trumps all other phrases in the Lord's Prayer, is, may your will be done. May your will be done. I don't know how your prayer life is or what you are working on or what you wish you could do or had in your prayer life, but I'd like to invite you to think about that. And tonight, after you shut this off, I'm not going to pray a closing prayer for this little reflection. Instead, I'm going to ask that once this video is complete, that you set aside a place, a time that's private, quiet, and that you just spend some time thinking towards God, allowing God's spirit to work in you. Sometimes uh, our sighs are too deep for words, but God will give you that grace. And then just pray and experience God's peace and stabilizing spiritual growth stimulation in that prayer as you come to the Lord in prayer and just ask, Dear God, in my life, in this world, in my heart right now, may your will be done in Jesus' name. Thanks for joining me tonight.